feeling you, FP. New Orleans is out there. Going to be a rowdy crowd out there. Welcome. We bring you a regular season game with extra importance. This is game three of the NBA Cup, a vital group stage contest. Two slam dunk champs, Grant Hill and Brent Berry, our analysts tonight. Brian Anderson here. We'll hear from Ali LaForce as well. And with a new class entering the league, here is our rookie race. A look at the early returns. Plenty of time for someone who might not be on the list to become a big time factor. What an incredible start to his rookie season. Sitting in the number one spot right now, but I'm sure this will be an exciting rookie race. And you know his confidence must be soaring, sitting at the top of this impressive list of young talent. That is no small achievement, even early on like this. I, I think it shows just how well he fits into playing at this level. Let's take a look at our starters for the Golden State Warriors. Kaminga is out there with Moses Moody. Then there's Kevon Looney. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Mr. Clutch in at the point guard position. And for New Orleans, Ingram is the three with Zion playing the four. DeJounte Murray is out there with C.J. McCollum. And it's Tice in at the five down low. You look at New Orleans. And so far, they are 0-2 in the NBA Cup. Not the start they were hoping for. Well, this has been a little bit of a nightmare start in the Cup for them. Their full focus should be on the regular season. And then the situation for Golden State. This is a huge game for them in the NBA Cup. They're 2-0. A win tonight gets them close to the knockout round. Oh, yeah, B.A. If they can win this one on the road, a 3-0 record means you've got one foot in the knockout round. But if they get a loss, they'll probably need help to get out of the group. Here's Mr. Clutch. Let's it go from deep. Doesn't go, and he's 0-for-1 from the floor. Curry against McCollum. Fires from deep. Buries it from three. Well, that's a go-to for CJ. He looks to spray it from three-point line as much as he possibly can. Kaminga with a screen on McCollum. Here's Mr. Clutch. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. And it's Williamson with the ball for the New Orleans Pelicans. It's a three-point game. Victory eluded them the last time they faced the Warriors. Big loss in their last meeting with this team. Couldn't get anything to fall in that one. And here are the Warriors now. After the basket by New Orleans. A nice shot by Mr. Clutch. So much talk about Steph's scoring ability, but he's also a great facilitator. Now here's McCollum. Not a lot of room. Murray finds Williamson. The layup misses. I'm not going to see that very often. The defense in the vicinity, but still, he's not one to blow layups. Well, Brent, it's been a blessing to watch Stephen Curry in real time. But he's the kind of player, his highlights will stand the test of time for years. The best shooter that's ever played the game. Yes, it's been a real treat, B.A., to watch all of that happen. But... I give credit to Steph. The early part of his career, shaky with the injuries, the confidence never wavered, and then all of a sudden, behind these magical hands, the game had changed. That build of Zion's making him so tough to contain. He's got the quickness, too, so under the rim, it's lights out. 
And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Well, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Tice sets a screen. Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by Golden State. They want to keep rolling here, following the win against Atlanta. They were allowed to ramp up their offense as the defense they faced was barely present. Yeah, with the defense struggling like that, I think they just stayed with a healthy, consistent pace to get that win. Now here's Ingram, coming off a terrific game against Cleveland. Here's McCollum. Kaminga pulls it in. The Warriors have gone two of six to open up this game. Pass to Mr. Clutch. Kaminga with a screen on Tice. Here's Mr. Clutch. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter, but he's determined to stay after it. Brent, what's something you've seen from Murray's time in San Antonio to now? Well, there's been no stoppage, B.A., of the type of work that DeJounte Murray puts in. Now, he's had to learn a new system, but he's adapted to that, and he continues to play both ends of the floor to make an impact. Now here's McCollum. His last outing, he had 20. Pass to Ingram. And Brandon Ingram was the key piece of the Anthony Davis tree. That move changed his career, Brent. No doubt about it. B.I. won the most improved player of the year in his first season away from the Lakers. So sometimes that change of scenery can open up opportunity and get you a chance to show your excellence. After a trade to New Orleans back in 2019, Brandon Ingram has become a primary scorer, Grant. Yeah, he scored well over 20 points per game since leaving the Lakers. B.I. has the rare blend of length and shooting, and beyond scoring, Ingram's assist numbers are very impressive, too. And he just hasn't been able to get it going this period. No, I haven't seen him in, in comfortable spots, or at least spots we've seen in this offensive set that are allowing him to settle in. And Steve Kerr calls timeout. He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Green's checked in for Brandon Ingram. Let's see some of the numbers here for DeJounte Murray. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Right side Curry. And stolen by Murray. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Alley. Well, Coach Steve Kerr said of Jonathan Kaminga, we were trying really for a long time to get him to attack, get the ball in the paint, and dunk it because he's unstoppable there. You just don't know when something's going to click, but it has clicked, and it's beautiful to see. He has certainly found his lane, Alley. Thank you. Here's Mr. Clutch. Coming off an unbelievable high-scoring game. Yeah, three turnovers already and some frustration starting to settle in. That's a whistle he did not want to hear his second foul, and we're not even out of the first quarter. And that's how you defend. Glad we had a chance to see a replay of that. Warriors trail by 20. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. They've got Jonathan Kaminga. He's out there with Kevon Looney. And it's Moody in at the three. Mr. Clutch can't hit. Well, we're chipping some orange paint off the rim here, guys. He must be more patient on offense and trying to find ways to penetrate inside and get closer to the rim. Here's McCollum. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. McCollum's got 10 points. Well, C.J. McCollum can score in a lot of ways. Coming off of screens, playing with the ball, spot-up three-point shooting. Just a variety of ways to produce. Wow. I'll tell you, such an advantage having a playmaker who can get up to the rim and finish. Now that is what every team wants. Like to see that assertiveness, especially from the guy who's going to orchestrate your offense. Pass to Robinson Earl. Outside, green. No good from outside. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Here's Waters. Here's Mr. Clutch. Five points in the game. Come get it, come get it. Just five on the clock. Looney with the ball. 
and that's good. His first bucket of the game. Kevon Looney on the inside doing a little bit of damage now. And so McCullum will bring it up for the Pelicans. 22 was their biggest lead. Well, we have a chance to hear from Shams Charania. He's calling in right now. Shams, great to have you on, bud. Thanks, guys. A big move for the Pelicans this summer, trading for DeJounte Murray, a versatile and durable lead guard who's proven to be one of the best clutch players. His acquisition directly addresses some of the Pelicans' greatest needs. And guys, I'm very interested to see how this plays out. A big piece. Okay, Shams, appreciate the update. Slams it in. Well, McCollum doesn't get a lot of dunks throughout the course of the year. Nice to see him rise up that time. Here's Mr. Clutch. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. The Pelicans lead by 15. Pass to Hawkins. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Warriors have gone a terrific four of five here in the second quarter. Here's Mr. Clutch. Misses the three. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here's McCollum. Oh, he trains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Sweet to be a difference maker in the game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Mr. Clutch can't hit. New Orleans has gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Pass to Hawkins. Down low. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Kaminga with a screen on McCollum. Here's Mr. Clutch. He buries it from three. Mr. Clutch has got 10 points in the quarter. Defensively, you can't afford to get stuck on the pick. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. And it's Willie Green calling the timeout here. He's going to gather the troops and talk it over. And so both teams changing it up here. And a check on the league leaders now with the top shooting teams over the previous 10. Second, the Warriors. The fourth spot held by the Pelicans. Both teams shooting with great confidence as of late. These guys don't waste opportunities. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. McCollum finds Ingram. Back to McCollum. Outside Murray. Pass to Williamson. Six to shoot. And here's Ingram outside. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. That'll wrap up this short two-game road trip. Kaminga with a screen on Williamson. Mr. Clutch can't hit. The Pelicans lead by 16. Williamson outside. Over Looney. Looney grabs a miss. Golden State has gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Sinks the tray. Such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. McCullum, the pass to Green. Williamson against Looney. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Zion Williamson seems intent on silencing all the doubters moving forward, Graham. Yeah, B.A., he's not taking any more questions about conditioning. His physicality and play really answer that question now. He has been looking better than ever. Hawkins has checked in for C.J. McCollum. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Stephen Curry comes in for Moody. Here's Mr. Clutch, defended by Murray. Mr. Clutch passes to Curry. From outside, off the mark. New Orleans leading by 15. And he banks in the layup. Mr. Clutch has got 18 points in the game. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? And here's Ingram from the arc. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. 
I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Brent, one area where Zion Williamson continues to improve is as a passer. OBA, he's cut down his turnovers while more than doubling his rate of assists. And to me, that's just familiarity, getting on the court more consistently and not being injured. I mean, he's going to build and compound on that experience. So starting to make plays is starting to show for Zion. Andrew Wiggins checked in for Looney. Yeah, you can tell Curry knows the angles, smartly setting up another guy. New Orleans has gone 0 for 4 from beyond the arc here in the second quarter. Pass to Ingram. Over Payton. The shot by Ingram, no good. He hasn't hit a single shot yet, but somehow as a team, they're getting it done. Now the Pelicans in transition. Takes a three. Gets the first one to go. Now one for seven on the night. And a breakdown here, guys, of the hustle stats for the Pelicans. Yeah, they're just attacking on defense. Getting those hands out and knocking the ball free. I really like their energy defensively. Yeah, I wonder if pace and playing fast is something that they're being encouraged to do. Because right now, they feel like the faster team. Pass to Williamson. Over Green. Williamson with the bucket. Williamson's got five points now in the quarter. Not just a threat from interior or around the rim. Williamson can also hurt you from the mid-range. Back to Wiggins. And stolen by Green. Yeah, looking up at the scoreboard, guys, that's his third. And so it's New Orleans liking their chances. Ending the quarter with a 15-point lead. How about the way they've attacked the paint? This throwback approach is paying off. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. In that game against the Spurs, they have to be feeling pretty confident. Good teams win the games they're supposed to. We'll find out how good they are. You can beat a team and still not be a good team. I want to see how they play. Now let's talk about that first half. What an impressive performance for the Pelicans. They know how to draw whistles. They're attacking, but being smart about it. This is what you do when you play a team that has no discipline. You go right at them, make them self-destruct. Thanks for tuning in. Now it's time to head back over to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Zion and Tice together down low. C.J. McCollum is out there with DeJounte Murray. And it's Ingram in at the three slot. That's the Pelicans' five. It's one thing to get outplayed, but when you're giving away possessions like this, it makes it even more tough. Pass to Tice. Now Williamson, McCollum outside. Outside Murray, shoots over Curry. Barry from 15 feet out. Murray's got 20. Tough part about defending Murray is he can beat you in so many ways. You'll want him to shoot threes, but right now he's showing it all. Mr. Clutch passes to Looney. Well, Grant, when the money's on the line, the mid-range is still a big part of the elite player's game. You're right, B.A. And really, it comes down to touch, obviously. And size certainly helps. And then the savvy and balance to create that space. 
Now here's McCollum. He's got 14. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Well, C.J. McCollum can go from second gear to fourth gear and back to second gear. A defense is nightmare. Pass to Curry. Out to the wing. Here's Mr. Clutch. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Curry. He's got 26. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Curry against Murray. It's tipped. Such great instincts and athletic ability. Kaminga getting there to stop shots. One thing this Golden State team does very well is control the offensive glass, Brent. Well, there's been a lot of talk analytically, B.A., about how advantageous it is to come in and swoop through to grab offensive rebounds. Golden State has bought into that philosophy. They also have guys who take a lot of long shots, so that's long rebounds with a better chance of gaining an extra possession. So some smart analytical play here from Golden State in the past couple seasons. Murray finds Tice. Shot clock at five. Williamson passes to Tice for three. McCollum. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got four rebounds now. To the paint. Here's Moody. Moses Moody! Up strong for the jam! And just a lack of fight right now on the defensive end. Right? At least on that slam it was. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Williamson outside. Here's the three. The rebound by Moody. Warriors trail by 13. Inside. Here's Mr. Clutch. Oh, he goes up high for the two-handed slam. Incredible. It sometimes falls to the point guard to be the offensive catalyst. Seems like he always knows when his squad needs a lift. Did you see how much air he had under him? Wow. Oh, man. They have really heated up from mid-range. The Warriors have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. The Pelicans have a young star tandem in Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. And C.J. McCollum said to win in today's NBA, you need those big versatile forwards who can do a little bit of everything. We have two of the best in the league. And when you're playing well, it makes the game easier for all of us. Brian? It's a great perspective. Thanks, Ali. Shots good by McCollum. CJ has always had that uncanny ability to just land on his feet, kind of like a cat. He absorbs that contact and completes the play. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's foul number two for him. Heels checked in for the Warriors. Second team foul. Substitution for the Warriors. So it's the Warriors now. Down by 15. Mr. Clutch can't hit. Williamson looking around. Driving inside. Second shot opportunity. Kaminga pulls it in. Kuminga's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Mr. Clutch. And again, no good by Golden State. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. McCullum right side. No good from the low block. Warriors trail by 15. Here's Mr. Clutch. And he's got 28 now. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. Ty sets a screen. Good chance here for Ingram. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Ingram's got four points this quarter. But they just need to keep close tabs on Ingram if you're on defense. He's getting that jump shot to go. Here's Mr. Clutch. 30 points in the game. Connects from downtown. Uh, feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Pass to Tice. A shot from the high post. The shot by Ingram, no good. He hasn't helped the cause with his shooting, but his teammates have had his back. 
Here's Mr. Clutch. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. McCullum with it. And Looney picks him up defensively. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will have it. You know, Brent, C.J. McCollum is just a natural leader. A classic connector. C.J. has been amazing since day one coming into the NBA. I have no doubt that C.J. after his playing career is over. And breaking down some numbers here. The hustle stats for the Pelicans. Well, their D has been a major story tonight. I mean, those steals and putting pressure on the ball, clogging the passing lanes, impressive. And another difference maker that we could point to tonight has been second chance points. They've been in there, they've had active hands, they've been in great position, and they've been smart attacking the offensive glass. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. They've got Stephen Curry. Kevon Looney is out there with Jonathan Kaminga. Then it's Moody, and it's Mr. Clutch in at the one. Murray looking around. Back to Green. Five on the clock. Here's Hawkins. And they waste no time getting those three points back. And the Pelicans lead by nine. And Hawkins responding to that three with one of his own. Kaminga with a screen on Murray. Mr. Clutch. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. The Pelicans shooting the ball at 48% so far. Poke loose. All alone on the break. And he caps off the break with a monster slam. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Murray, no good. Warriors trail by seven. Curry passes to Mr. Clutch. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. The pull-up jumper. A nice shot by Hawkins. Hawkins has got five points in the quarter. If Hawkins can get just a little bit of room to operate, he is tough. Murray with it. Now guarded by Curry. Here's Robinson Earl. The shot no good. Looney with some nice D. Here's Mr. Clutch. Rebounded by Ingram. And Ingram has got the ball here for New Orleans. 22 was their biggest lead. Mr. Clutch passes to Curry. Out to the right wing. Here's Mr. Clutch. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Curry. Curry's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside Ingram. Well, he needs to be careful. One more foul, and he's done. Tice is checked in for the Pelicans. Second team. And so it's New Orleans with it. Six-point lead. Pass to Hawkins. Takes the three. And again, New Orleans no good. The Warriors have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. And just because he might not be as big as some of the other guys that are on the floor, it doesn't dissuade him from getting in there and playing fearlessly on the glass. Now here's Green. Here's Hawkins. Clock at six. Back to Green. It's stolen by Kuminga. And the Warriors pushing it up now. From deep. Good! Another from three. Buries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. And we've got a timeout call by Willie Green. He wants their game plan to be crystal clear at this point. making some changes. Williamson comes in for Ingram, and it's McCollum in for Murray. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Willie Green coaching his team during that last break. He told the team he has complete faith in them, saying, we're right there. Now we just got to make that push and really take hold of the game. We can do that. To me, it looked like his players are on the same page with him. Guys, back to you. Allie, thank you. 
McCullum outside. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. And Zion absolutely rocking the rim. Warriors trail by five. Here's Mr. Clutch. Pass to Curry. Here's Mr. Clutch. Now Kuminga. Outside Curry. Mr. Clutch passes to Curry. And the shot no good. A bit short. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Tice with the ball. With some arc. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got rebound number eight now. Here's Mr. Clutch. McCullum defends. Mr. Clutch can't hit. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. McCullum, a pass to Williamson. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Mr. Clutch has got his sixth rebound on the night. Kuminga's shot is off. Looking for the spectacular and coming up empty. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Pass to Williamson. Easy work for Zion inside. Well, there's no I in team, but there is an I in Zion. And I see him getting it done. Looney, the screen. Here's Mr. Clutch. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Mr. Clutch has got 46. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. And we've got a timeout called by Willie Green. He clearly wants to talk it over and make sure everyone is focused. Ingram's checked in for the Pelicans. Murray comes in for Hawkins. The Warriors also with a sub. Green's checked in for Kaminga. New Orleans leading by five. And here's Murray. Pass to Tice. Ingram with the ball. Over Moody. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And Steve Kerr calls time out here. He's decided it's time to clarify the situation, leaving little room for error. Warriors trail by seven. Green with a screen on McCullum. Mr. Clutch can't hit. Yeah, not a fan of that one, guys. If he wants to help his team cut into this deficit, he should not be attempting those kind of shots. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Tice, right side. Back to Murray. The three. The Warriors pull it in. Looney's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Launches it from deep. Tice grabs the miss. Tice has got seven rebounds in the game. Knocked away. McCullum outside from deep three-point land. An absolute bomb from three-point range. And now a 10-point Pelican lead. Yeah, that one seemed to be just outside the building. McCollum showing off his deep, deep range. Out to the right wing. Here's Mr. Clutch. Three-pointer, no good. And so McCollum will bring it up for the Pelicans. A minute 15 left to play in the fourth. Puts up a three. Rebound by Mr. Clutch. Warriors trail by 10. Moody from outside. Here's Looney. Ooh, Looney with the smooth move inside. Kind of a simple job for Looney out there, but he's willing to do it. Gets into the middle and fights for that board. Tice sets a screen. Outside Murray. to McCullum and he makes it on the layup and the Pelicans lead by 10 you can feel the excitement in this arena these guys have done one heck of a job a huge motivation always great for a young team but 
Veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. And it's Pelican's ball. No need to shoot. This one is done. Yes, they've got to be happy with tonight's effort. And so it's the Pelicans taking care of business in this one. And they get their first win of the NBA Cup, moving them to one and two in the group stage. And it's going to be tough for them to move on to the next stage of the Cup. But a win is a win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So alongside Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, and our entire 2K crew, I'm Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching. So long and good night, everyone. Got to tighten up and get them next time.